Hello my darlings, it's Dan Dean. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to my closet and my husband's wet jujitsu gi. This is real life people, I'm not editing anything out. Um, we are going to be styling my black leather jacket. And yes, I see black leather moto jacket, the one that I thrifted from Pavarello Center, the one that was in the thrift haul. I decided to keep it um, because I've been looking for a coat like this for so very long. Um, I made the mistake of trying it on and once I tried it on, that was it. And so I'm gonna keep it and then when it no longer serves me, I'm gonna go ahead and release it. Um, so I decided to just do a try on video with you guys. That being said, I'm doing a try on video here because I've decided to close the Style Lab. Um, it just didn't feel good to me to do two t two separate videos. So what I am going to do, however, is I'm still going to do those courses or do those classes, but I'm just going to make them like five or $10 teachable courses in my teachable school. I'll leave a link to that um, here. Um, so I'm going to do like how to wear color, how to mix prints, um, how to do an, how to um, take Instagram photos, how to launch a YouTube channel. I'm going to continue to do those, but I'm just going to put them in my teachable school. Anyway, Let's get to playing in my closet. I'm in love with this coat and I've been playing with it in so many ways. So I decided to just take out my phone and show you guys how I'm thinking about styling my fabulous black moto leather jacket. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So this is actually on my Instagram and my YouTube community um, pictures. This is the way that I styled it for my photos. Yes, my Instagram photos. Um, why did I pick this particular print? So, I felt like this jacket was so big and overwhelming, but it was so rocker chic that I had to create, I had to do something to kind of give it some edge. And so I chose this dress. This dress is from Salvation Army. Um, a few hauls ago, you would have seen it. And so I wore it off the shoulder in the picture because honestly, if I was going out date night, this is how I would wear it. It is South Florida. Um, it is not Chicago. So I'm not going to play myself. This is how I would walk into a restaurant and then I would just fling off the jacket and give you drama darlings. But um, I really chose this dress because I wanted to add to the drama of the jacket. In a perfect world, and not even in a perfect world, what I am going to do is I'm actually going to look for an animal print um, midi dress. And so I'll show you what I'm thinking as far as lengthwise in the next piece. But I want this dress, but longer because I feel like that would add even more of like a vibe, of like a rocker chic vibe, or just a, a bold print. <sighs> Can I think of anything? Is there anything in my closet? I probably have something in my closet. We'll play around. Um, but I would have loved this longer. I think this is fine. You guys know I love my legs, right? Um, and so this is fine. This is how I want to wear it yesterday. And it just felt good like this. So this was the first way that um, I decided to wear this jacket. And don't mind this. This is my um, my Fenty, my Fenty night, um, nightgown, not nightgown, dressing gown. Do I need to do a Fenty video, guys? Because, you know, me and Savage Fenty, we're friends too. All right, let's get to the next piece. Okay, so here's the next, um, the next way I'm thinking about wearing it. And this way, I wanted to show you with the length um, as far as balance and proportion. Hold on, let me fix it. So as far as balance and proportion, the reason why I like this length is because this hits me right at the bottom of my hip line. And so just to draw the eye downward, I wanted to go with something a little longer. I'll probably look for something longer and tighter, like a cute little bodycon. I'm sure I have something in my closet where I can kind of show you what I'm thinking. Um, but this is over the shoulder. But let me show you rocking it, actually like wearing it, wearing it. Because some of you live up north and you're just like, or in, this, in um, the central, central states, and you're like... I need to actually wear the coat the on. So let me show you how I would actually like wear it, wear it. Okay, so here we go. This makes a lot of noise, okay? So don't judge me. So this is how I would wear it, wear it. Um, I know some of you are just like, oh my God, it's too big. It's actually too long. No, actually that's how it's being worn. So it may feel like 
what the heck am I doing? It may feel unnatural to you, but this is literally how it is worn. It's oversized, it's big, it's noisy. It makes a, it makes a statement. It's a statement coat. And so, you know, the, the coats that I showed you in the video from Saint Laurent, um, where else did I show you coats from? Saint Laurent, Acne. I think everybody right now is doing this type of leather coat. It is supposed to be worn oversized. It's not sloppy. It's not messy. It's really, like I said, it's how it's supposed to be worn. So this is how I would like wear it, wear it. I actually need to take a picture of this. This, <laughs> you see that? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. See that hat right there? I tried to put that on with this and my wig was too big. So <laughs> actually needs to go to Posh. I need to uh, put it up on Posh because it doesn't work. Um, whew, this is a hot look, guys literally a hot look but yeah i just want to show you how i would wear it on on really pretty okay so if you follow me on instagram at imdeondine you've already seen this and it's actually in my highlights i think maybe not um but the first outfit that i um saw in my head with this was actually this dress this polka dot dress however when i saw it on camera on instagram um this reminded me of a hospital gown <laughs> So I was like, wait a minute, that's not the look I want to go for. Um, so I'm going to belt it and put on a pair of shoes and kind of not make it look so hospital. It looked like I literally escaped from the hospital. And that's not the look that we're going for, people. Um, so let me go ahead and belt it, put on a pair of shoes and see if we like that. Okay, please forgive me, people. The only thing that I could find was my... Um, elasticized belt and so it's going to snatch in my waist more than it needs to Ooh, but you guys get the picture um so now i look less hospital gownish. i paired it with my pink shoes what a cute outfit right now one of the things in um you know watching my my vloggers and my instagram influencers that actually have this coat and have styled this coat um is that they're actually keeping this coat and they wear this coat in the spring um so this is definitely a springtime look this noise is gonna bother me um <laughs> this is definitely a springtime look i'm what i'm thinking is that they probably wear it just over the shoulders as an accessory rather than actually have it full on i can see this outfit with like some black opaque tights um and a really cool funky you know black boot there's so many different ways that you can wear it and so looking at this coat as an accessory item instead of like a full closet wardrobe item like I just love it. I just love this coat. I just love this coat. So here it is with the black and white dress belted with the pink shoes. These are my Rebecca Minkoff shoes from The Real Real. So yeah, there we have it. Let's do one last look. This look, I feel like it's going to take me out, guys. I feel like this is the look of all looks. Okay, guys. This look right here. Don't mind the gaping. I need to pin that. Don't mind the gaping, okay? Let's just look at the positives of this outfit, okay? Let's look at the positives of this outfit. This is the Canadian tuxedo look that I have been wanting to accomplish for some time, but I could not find a chambray or a denim top, and I still can't find it because there's a gape right here. Um, but I can pin that. I can pin that, and it'll work. Because um, I've been looking for a jean shirt and the perfect skinny jeans with the denim shoes. The denim pumps i should say <sighs> i'm feeling very grease lightning right now um i feel like the faux leather i mean the faux um my faux fur needs to be worn with this look but i've been wanting to put together this look for some time but i could not like i said i could not find a denim shirt that didn't gape like this this is better than most um this when i pin it will actually work but you get the vibe. You get the vibe of what I'm trying to do with the denim, with the denim, with the faux leather. I'm liking it. Let's see what happens when I actually like put on the coat or jacket, I should say. Okay, so here's it. here it is. Oh, here is it. <laughs> here it is with the coat on. I got to go to my mom's house. You know, moms always have the pins. She could probably sew this for me. But look at this. Look at these jeans. Can we talk about these jeans? These are actually a size bigger, but I like the way that they fit. These are um, celebrity pink. I think I'm going to do a um, 
video on jeans because I like a very specific jean. Um, and if you're someone like me, who is a chunky girl, but we have like thin calves and thin ankles, um, a lot of the skinny jeans that like Lane Bryant makes, Torrid makes a good skinny jean, but um, a lot of plus size jeans don't account for larger women who have smaller calves. Um, and so it's been hard finding, you know, a good skinny jean. <sighs> good American makes an amazing skinny jean. I just don't want to spend $200. I will if I have to, but I don't want to. So I was glad that I found these um, at Salvation Army. So yeah, this is the last look. I'm going to keep, I'm going to stay on the lookout for a denim top because every time I find a denim top, it's just too big. Like I want it to be kind of fitted. This one on the side, if you see it has like, yeah, it gives me a little room. So the issue is it's big up here and it's big down there. I don't want it big all the way through. I just need a big in the bust. But like I said, my mom can sew that up or she can give me some safety pins because moms have safety pins. That's their job, right? All right. I love this look, though. All right, my loves. There you have it. I'm so in love with that jacket. If you follow me on Instagram at I am Dion Dean, you will be seeing that jacket probably once a week for the next three months. It is what it is. And then also, if you have, um, if you like any of the things that I'm posting on Instagram or even here on um, YouTube, any outfits that I post, always go on my website at DionDean.com. Not only do I post the outfit, but I also post where you can find the outfit and if there are any dupes. And so definitely check out the website at DionDean.com. So now I'm going to go find a safety pin because I really want to take a picture of me and that jacket for the gram, but not with my tatas about to bust out. So let me go on to my mom's and see if she can fix this situation. Bye.